I woke up one morning, feeling disoriented and groggy, only to realize that something was terribly wrong. My hands brushed against the soft fabric covering my body, and my heart sank as I discovered that I was wearing a pink sissy dress. Panic surged through me as I tried to remove it, but it was as if the dress had become a part of me, impossible to take off. With trembling legs, I stumbled out of my room and descended the stairs, hoping that someone in my family could help me. To my dismay, the house was eerily silent. No one was home, and I was alone in my predicament. As I walked around in the dress, I couldn't help but notice strange sensations. My body felt different beneath the dress. My once flat chest seemed to have developed into soft mounds that fit snugly inside the cups of the dress. My hips had widened, making each step a challenge. Even my face seemed to be more delicate, my features gentler and more feminine. I gazed at my reflection in the hallway mirror, struggling to comprehend the transformation. It was as if the dress was altering my body, molding me into a different person. Was this some kind of magic dress? It seemed impossible, yet the evidence was undeniable. Throughout the day, I tried to come to terms with my altered appearance. It was a bewildering mix of fear and fascination. I couldn't deny that I looked rather appealing in the dress, and the fabric felt oddly comfortable against my changing body. But the uncertainty of what was happening to me was overwhelming. The day passed in a blur as I grappled with my new reality. I couldn't escape the dress, nor could I explain the strange changes happening beneath it. All I knew was that I had to unravel the mystery of this enchanted garment and discover how to regain control over my body. As the hours passed, I found myself in front of the mirror once again, my gaze drawn to the transformed reflection staring back at me. There was an undeniable allure in the way the dress accentuated my curves, and the way my face had become more delicate, with subtly enhanced features. Curiosity got the better of me, and I decided to explore this new version of myself further. I rummaged through my sister's makeup kit, which I had always regarded with a mixture of awe and mystique. Today, it felt like an opportunity to experiment. With a delicate touch, I applied some makeup, accentuating my eyes, enhancing my lips, and adding a touch of blush. It was as if I had unlocked a hidden talent, a newfound skill that allowed me to express myself in a way I'd never imagined. The makeup accentuated my feminine features, making me feel more confident and alluring. Despite the strange circumstances, I couldn't help but admire how I looked. The transformation, while bewildering, had a certain allure, and I began to embrace it. The way the dress made me feel, the makeup enhancing my features, it all gave me a sense of power and beauty that I had never experienced before. As the day wore on, I found myself becoming more comfortable with this unexpected change. It was as though the dress had awakened a part of me I'd never known existed. I moved with a newfound grace, my hips swaying gently as I walked, and my newfound femininity filled me with a sense of liberation. I couldn't explain what was happening, but I knew that I was no longer the same person who had woken up that morning. I had been enveloped by the magic of the dress, and it had awakened a desire within me to explore this new aspect of my identity. After a day of embracing the changes brought about by the enchanted dress, I returned to my room with a newfound sense of self-assuredness. However, what I encountered inside was yet another bewildering transformation. My room, once a sanctuary of boyish posters and familiar belongings, had morphed into a space that was unmistakably a girl's room. The walls were painted a soft pastel pink, adorned with pictures of girls in fashionable outfits and quotes about self-confidence and empowerment. The bedspread was a floral design, and delicate lace curtains hung from the windows. My sports equipment and action figures were replaced by an array of dresses, shoes, and accessories. My heart raced as I surveyed the room, trying to come to terms with this astonishing change. It was as if the dress's magic had extended beyond just my appearance and altered my entire environment. The room now reflected the newfound femininity I had experienced throughout the day. I cautiously walked over to the closet and opened it, finding a collection of stylish dresses and outfits that were my size. It was as though the room had been prepared for my transformation, and it sent a shiver down my spine. Uncertain about what to make of this situation, I sat down at my newly decorated desk. There, I found a diary, its pages filled with beautiful handwriting, chronicling the experiences of the girl who now seemed to inhabit my room. As I flipped through the pages, I discovered a name, Emily, and a story of self-discovery and acceptance. 
Emily's journey mirrored my own in many ways, and it became clear that she had also been influenced by the magic of the dress. It was as if our fates were intertwined, and my transformation was inextricably linked to hers. I realized that I wasn't alone in this enchanting and mysterious journey. Emily's presence, even if only through her diary, provided a sense of companionship and understanding in this surreal ordeal. With a mixture of trepidation and curiosity, I decided to embrace this new chapter in my life and step into Emily's shoes, quite literally. I chose a dress from the closet, and as I donned it, I felt a sense of unity with the girl who had experienced the same magical changes I had. As I lay on the bed in my transformed room, still trying to make sense of the enchanting changes that had taken place, I eventually drifted off to sleep. The dreams that night were vivid and filled with a sense of belonging, as if they were pulling me deeper into this new reality. But the sensation of being awakened from a deep slumber was anything but ordinary. My eyes fluttered open, and the sight before me was entirely disorienting. Standing in the doorway was a woman who bore an uncanny resemblance to my mother, yet she was now unmistakably my mother's daughter. Good morning, sweetie, she said with a warm smile, and it was the voice of my mother, but the face was undeniably mine. My heart raced as I tried to comprehend the surreal transformation. I made your favorite breakfast, she continued, her tone filled with maternal affection. Unable to speak, I looked down at my hands, and they were petite and delicate, the hands of a girl. I touched my face, my once masculine features now completely feminine. I was no longer the boy who had gone to bed the previous night. As I sat up, I realized that my entire history had been rewritten. In this new reality, I had always been a girl, living as my mother's daughter. The memories of my previous life as a boy were fading like a distant dream, replaced by a vivid recollection of growing up as a girl named Emily. Over breakfast, my mother, who had been my mother all along, regaled me with stories of my girlhood, and I listened with a sense of wonder. It was as if I had been reborn into this world, and every detail of my existence had been seamlessly woven into the fabric of my new life. As the days turned into weeks, I fully embraced my identity as Emily, living a life that was now completely mine. I attended school, made friends, and explored the world from a new perspective. The enchanted dress that had triggered this transformation had rewritten not just my appearance but my entire existence. It was an incredible journey of self-discovery, and I found joy and contentment in this new life as Emily. The dress had given me the gift of experiencing life from a different perspective, and I learned to appreciate the beauty of being true to myself, no matter how extraordinary the circumstances. The enchantment that had taken place remained a mystery, but I had come to accept it as a magical blessing, a chance to live a life that had always felt like a better fit for who I truly was. As Emily, I embraced the path of self-acceptance, and the journey of self-discovery continued, filled with wonder and a newfound sense of identity.